What's up bros? Today I've got another gun for our inexpensive airsoft gun. Now I'm not showing it yet because I want you to be as surprised as I was. Uh, when I ordered this blaster, I saw the picture and I saw the price and some of the detail and I thought, okay, this is a great deal. So I got it in the mail and I was pretty surprised. And this is what I got. This is the airsoft gun. Now, part of it is my bad because I didn't read that it said it was three quarter size. I'm not really sure if this is really three quarter size anyways. I, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I guess if that was half size, it would be that long, three quarter. I guess you could possibly say that. But what it did say is that its power is 350 FPS at, with 0 0.20 gram BBs. So that's pretty good. Um, it says that its range is 150 feet and it's accurate up to 100. So this is almost like a giant pistol. So we'll test it out and we'll see what we get. All right, so anyways, let's go on. Uh, this gun looks like it's made from someone named Combat Force. At least that's the name at the top. The price was $9.95, so that's perfect for our inexpensive airsoft gun series. And uh, it comes with a tiny bag of 0.12 gram BBs. So let's open it. Which that's easy. Here is the gun. Here has my little pack of 0.12 BBs. And this is, I don't know if you'd really call this the barrel or some kind of barrel extender or what. But it uh, looks like you just push it on just like that. It does have a Picatinny rail on top. It has a front sight here that you snap up. It has a rear sight. It appears that you load the BBs in the top. It's got like a built-in hopper. And this is the door for it. Uh, let's see about the stock. Is the stock extendable? The stock does not move. I do not, I think there's a mag release. Oh, there's a fake mag release button. So this is all fake. And um, I don't think there's a hop up for it anywhere. And no, there's no hop up. So it's just a simple, probably pump and shoot. And that's it. Like I said, to me, it's almost like a big, spring or pistol. So maybe if you're playing indoor CQB, this might be like an okay sign. A little bit awkward, a little bit uncomfortable or awkward to, to cock it because it's so close. Uh, it should be good for backyard airsoft. I don't see a problem with that. It would probably be easier for an adult to use if you just cocked it and shot like that. Just point and shoot like a pistol. Maybe let's see if you could aim like that. You kind of have to hold it like this to aim. Hmm. So the next thing we need to do is load some BBs in here and then let's chrono it. All right guys, I'm gonna chrono this with point twos. And by the way, if you want to see a review of our Ace Tech Chrono, it's on our channel. Good shot. Is he even shooting? All right, guys, I didn't have high expectations, but I didn't expect for it not to even shoot at all. So I guess this is going back to Amazon. Um, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. That's just the way it is. All right, guys, it's shout out time. The first shout out goes to Big Bush Blake. The next shout out goes to You Won't Sub To Me, Kutron. The next shout out goes to Wesley, Riston, and Friends. The next shout out goes to Cattiest Clown123. 
The next shout out goes to Billy Guerra. And the last shout out goes to FFC Gamer 5. All right, guys, if you liked the video, be sure to hit the like button and share this video with your friends. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notifications bell. Be happy. Peace out.